Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over where to find all six offerings for the Millennial Mountains quest in Genshin Impact. Let's get started. Alright, our first one is actually going to be up on that Cinnabar Peak or Cinnabar Cliff. And I'm going to show you how to get up there because you, you can pro... I don't know man, you might be able to climb up the long way, but the way I'm going will get you up there for sure. Basically you want to use these jump pads. It's a long climb. Oh, and if you don't know how to use these, basically a Geo will activate them. A Geo dude. Geo dude. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, moving on. Uh, once we get right around here and you jump up, from here, basically, all you got to do is run to the end. Follow it all the way to the end, and then there's three flowers. Grab the flower, and then you do have to fight this guy, but he's not hard. Second offering is here, but it's deceiving because it's way above the base camp. So I actually left the chasm area and make sure you investigate the spot when you get up here. Again, you might be able to climb, but I basically was like, no, nah, and I backed out this way and then started climbing this way. So now you can see I'm over here and it's a much more manageable climb. We're going to where those red leaves are, which I just noticed maybe that leads to all the items actually. Third one will be here near the surface, uh, not in the cave that you had to find the stone in, but above that. This one's really simple, actually. Go to this area, and there's a table. Check the table. Might be a couple of boxes. You're going to find the item there. Now, the fourth one, the cup, you need to get from a quest called Undetected Infiltration, and I don't remember how I got it. So if you know how to get it, please let me know. I'm pretty sure you get it just by going through the main story and you run into this guy. Or it's at the base camp at the bit of, yeah, beginning of the chasm. And once you beat it, make sure you open this chest. Because inside of the chest, which will be right near where you beat the quest, is where the cup is. Now for number five, head to the right near the maw. There's actually a little building here. And we're going to follow this Sealy, which I believe is what they're called, all the way. I'm not going to, you're not going to watch it, but just follow it. Eventually, you'll get the chest and the Sealy Big Yay, but now go into this room and you'll see there's one torch lit, one torch not. I guess you don't have to hit this barrel. I did, because whatever. Point is, we need to burn the straw on the floor. Once that's burnt, investigate that, and you will find the next item. There will be a fight afterwards. And then for the last one, the Tingong Gorge here, you're climbing. Plain and simple. I think this is about as high as you need to get over here. And once you get up to the top, you're looking for the Warrior Spear. It's very obvious where it's at. It's next to the wooden pillars up here. And then from there, you just need to jump down and go to the uh, altar and drop off all the items. And that will open up where the treasure is. And then you can complete the quest. Make sure you talk to Wang after you get all the treasure. That way you can be sure to actually get credit for the quest. And yeah, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed. Oh, look at that. Accurate. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.